Philosophy and science have opposite directions. While philosophy is characterized by a centrifugal movement, science is characterized by the desire for infinite, finite fragmentation of the subject of study. In other words, philosophy is intensively synthetic knowledge, while science is extensively analytical. And from the point of view of science, to philosophize is to reverse the normal work of thinking, or to use Werner Karl Heisenberg's expression about education. Education is what is left when you have forgotten everything you have learned. And in addition to this context, one can also quote Arthur Schopenhauer. For as we have said, just what the sciences presuppose and lay down as the basis and limit of their explanation is precisely the real problem of philosophy, which consequently begins where the sciences leave off. So it is not surprising, therefore, that analytic philosophy, which declares that its progress is the acquisition of scientific character, thereby loses its philosophical principle. It is further clear that philosophy and science at the beginning of documented history were actually not so far from each other as today. And when scientific research was carried out against the backdrop of a living integrity of thinking, which is characteristic of Eastern wisdom as a whole throughout history, up to the world hegemony of Western scientific, scientific worldview in all spheres of think, thinking of the modern world. A modern Western science and scientific philosophy deprived thinking of its soterological meaning, which requires consideration of being in its organic integrity, by its endless fragmentation of our thinking. In the analytical world, meaning is reduced to the causal connections of disparate individual elements within the framework of functional relations. It is hereby clear that neither the meaning of integrity nor the meaning of life fit into such objective functions, naively carried out without awareness of their own foundation. 